Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. They, they now started to disappear. Those are those ones they can never understand this fact. So we know better, unless not two wrongs doesn't make you right. In some, you know, not all the time. Uh, not all the time does uh, two wrongs make you right. Because we know better, because we are fighting for a better society, we have to act like people that knows better. And uh, so please, guys, in as much as, um, you know, everybody must have, may have their own personal experiences, um, we have to also understand that that doesn't define an entire people, you know. So we have to, we know better. That is why we are the one fighting, because we know better than them. We understand better than them. So even if Fulani is trying to instigate this infighting between us, we cannot fall for it. We can never ever fall for it. We have to be smarter. Even when, you know, we are the, we have been victimized, we can never give Fulani the satisfaction, you know. Um, our choice are go mine. You know, that's what I want to say. Uh, it is me again, unmute yourself. I greet the house. Praise Elohim. Thank you and all of us. You've been called, but um, I guess we are preoccupied. The topic is so annoying and frightening. Thank you, all of you. It's, it, as the day unfolds, it shows that we are actually on the right path. The only word I despise is the word called gullible ones. The Vietnam, Vietnamese, despite being so weak and so poor, stood their ground. America, with all their firepower, couldn't defeat them. They fought in that war. It was that war that Muhammad Ali resisted. He said the distance between America and Vietnam is too far. They are not even close neighbors. They are not neighbors. Why? What is America doing there? He refused to go to the war to fight there. Although he was not going to carry a gun, just to show a good example as a, as a champion. Just go to Vietnam. Snap from the bunker. Snap from um, um, the, the group that you are there. Muhammad Ali said, no. You don't have any business to do. In, in Vietnam, there is no business, no connection between America and Vietnam. I will not go there. And they strip him of his championship. He was sent to jail. But Vietnam we are able to overcome America. Because this word Golebu does not exist in their dictionary. It saddened my heart when I see some people, a beer franchise, remotely suggested that Nigeria will somehow leave miraculously come good tomorrow they are not seeing the bigger picture they don't know what nationhood or statehood is supposed to be their friends doesn't know that waking up every early morning by six o'clock to come back to your house by eight o'clock by 10 11 uh, p.m it's not normal thing it's not a normal way of life we don't know their friends don't know that if you if you if your wife gives birth to hospital that you are supposed to carry your child home because somehow somehow you have paid for that hospital bill only for you being a citizen of of a of a country no but if i give birth to an hospital they will seize my child my child is already in debt my child that knows nothing has already been indebted. They will seize that child until I run around, sell my family land, borrow from, from my enemy to get that child out of hospital. You are already. We think it is normal. It is not normal. The Vietnams were able to defeat America because this word, Golibu, does not exist. All of them know their enemy. We knew our enemy. They knew their enemy. Whatever plot they come with, they don't trust them. Look, you black folks. 
The Caucasians are not your friend. The Caucasians stretch to Arab. Look at this just concluded World Cup. Whereas we are here sharing our fellow African brother. What was the message from um, uh, Morocco? They are not playing for Africa. They belong to another league. They don't value you as human. That is why, despite the war in Libya, the Arabs are interested in selling the blacks. Despite the uncertainty, despite the deterioration of their country, they are, in, they are interested in selling the black. But do you know what? Surprise, surprise. We don't know our enemy. We don't know our enemy. The stupid shy doesn't notice the, the, the move of, of, of this or distractor. Gullible ones, and they deceive the gullible ones. We should all frown at whatever the Britain are doing. If the British like, let them build one biggest hospital and hang it on the air in Biafra land. It is, they are never for good. Not, it is it is never for good these people are the devil when you look out for satan you want to see satan these are the these demons with blue eye they are the demons that is troubling this peaceful earth anywhere they go since their emergence since their emergence the earth have never known peace but do you know why people like us we are not alive to their activities we don't know but now that we know. But there are two, 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 two faces, or multiple faces to a war. Years back, I read a book called, um, titled, The Devil's Advocate. It was about the Ottoman Empire and um, the, the people of the Levant, the Israeli people, the Crusaders, how they took over the Ottoman Empire. There are multiple faces to war. And I know our PM knew, knew this, and the Biafran government in exile. When we are talking about Third World War, it has already happened. It happened here in Biafra land. I have to say this, that the Third World War has already, been, have already taken place in Biafra land. The whole race of human participating third in it, and um, with vast interest. Everybody that took part in that war went home with one spoil or burnt it or the other. All of them were satisfied. They, they, they were satisfied. They were paid. The Egyptians that were forgotten for a very long time, Buhari rewarded them. The Nigerians that didn't get enough for their activity, Buhari rewarded them. The Niger. Buhari rewarded them and built everything in them. Look at the news making the round. They despise us to the extent that they don't, instead of giving it to eat this bear France, let me throw it inside the ocean. Surprise, surprise. They went to activate the port in Kutunu. Whereas from our, our sea, our rivers, to Atlantic Ocean, it's less than 13, less than 20 nautical miles. Azumiri Yala, it's less than 18 nautical miles. But Lagos to Atlantic Ocean is spanning 50. So which one will be more expensive? How about Kotonu? These are expensive way of, of, of uh, moving goods. Because the more you, the longer you stay on the water, the longer you need bunkering. You need food. You need to sustain the vessel. Which costs money and sum up the cost of every uh, uh, consignment. But they despise us. Calabar is no more than 25 nautical miles to the Atlantic Ocean. Why going to Kutunu? But no, they want to go to uh, um, uh, Liberia through Ecomog and United Nations. They say they want something cheap because United Nations knows that this Calabar is cheaper and closer and they will get there on time. They took Calabar seaport. They use on air just for, for fast delivery. But when we import goods from China, from America, from anywhere, they decide to use Lagos. But Lagos is now congested. Surprise, surprise. They are taking it to Kotonu. And somebody is gullible. Are we, are we, I don't understand. 
somebody is still gullible, a Biafran, a Biafran that can read and write, is somehow thinking that Nigeria is for him. They are bringing worship, they are bringing everything. They are gearing up to invade Africa, never to rise again. Even among us, the African president, we know them. Is Uganda protecting the is common African man? That Uganda president. What about Kogame, who has been speaking fire and brimstone? But look at his arrangement with Britain. They always know how to get us. And and I've told, I've said it before to friends. I don't trust the queue that happened in Gabon. It's a romance. It's a romance queue. It's a love queue that that was precipitated by France, orchestrated. Start it from here, so that they will infiltrate and truncate the progress of the of of those genuine Pan Africans within us. But we are not looking up to anybody. We are looking up to ourselves. Hence, we gather every day to share thought and idea. When you hear, take it to your siblings. Don't keep the To your friends and your loved ones that the only thing that we keep them as a race as a biafran is biafra emergence if biafra didn't come and we tried this time and we didn't get it because this is the most hardest time we have pushed if we push this hard and we didn't get it i tell you i bet i dare to predict that in the next hundred years there will never be biafran race again if we try this time if we try this time and we didn't get it, tell your loved ones that the danger of all this their gullibility is that when we try this time, despite how hard that we have done, because the uh, the, the, the the economical emasculation was was spearheaded by Britain. It was spearheaded by Britain. For what purpose? That we will never rise. But what? But surprise, surprise. These people are struggling. This surprise, surprise, these people are surviving to this extent. These people are educated. These people have traveled wide. Because the situation they kept for us to suppress us has actually brought a bad loss of open door. That is why you see us everywhere. Because no reasonable human being will rise in this country called Nigeria. Those who saw it 20, 50 years ago has, has, has escaped. They escaped the country. And here we are. Talking about a Biafran being gullible. I will yield my mic because I've taken the co host so that other people will come up. It's sad and so sad indeed. I yield my mic. Can I summarize what you just said now? You know, yes, to... uh, yes, Paul. The first is no longer on stage. Paul, is your hand is up. Oh, please take call. Go ahead with your summary. Okay, okay, okay. You know what you say now regards to taking the support to uh, taking the support to Kotona? Let me read the word uh, what, what Master Napoleon said so that uh, people who don't know where what is happening started, they will actually know exactly this is what they plan to annihilate us. And this is uh, the reason why our people were given uh, 20 pounds after the war. But as God might have it, with that 20 pounds, uh, we can move mountains today and we continue to move mountains thanks to Chugo Kabiyama. So, in regards to moving this seaport to Kotonu instead of uh, moving it to Biafran land, we are, we are closer to the sea. You know, like you said, uh, you know, uh, our brother, you know, when they when the same criminal UN, when they are trying to move the ammunition, they move it from a uh, water seaport. It's all functioning. You know, when they want to do their evil, when they want even a uh, article. Yeah. He's still using it to bring in raw materials, everything he's doing. Okay? But to tell you the reason why they will not open that seaport is what I'm going to read now. That was from uh, Amadou Bele. He said a new nation called Nigeria should be an estate of our great grandfather, Ottoman Danfodion. We must ruthlessly prevent a change of power, which is exactly what is going on now. Even man will not be anything. And which is exactly why they introduced 1989 Abuja Declaration. That no, no power, nothing we go to, any, uh, no Muslim. That is 
exactly what is going on today. Let me continue reading. He said, we use the minority. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to start from here. We use the minority of the North as willing tools and the South as a conquered territory and never allow them to rule over us. It then means they are using us as a conquered territory. That's why you see their master pretend we bring their worship to our land. What is going on? But they came in late. Tell them that they come in late. The Biafran Liberation Army is there. Eastern Security Network is there. Black Marine is there. And to the last one, the, the, the Ottoman Afro said is never allow them to have control over their future. It then means they don't want us to have a control over our future. That's exactly what is playing out now. That's the reason why they should uh, brainwash P2P. Dream up. Biafran struggle. But as God might have it, Chuko Kabiawa, shame them. And everything was exposed, you know. I thank God that uh, the people they are bringing it, they are receiving it water water in our land. As our prime minister said, he's the finisher, and the Ivakanono must continue. Okay, prime minister, carry on. I leave it here for that to stop. Thank you. Yes, and Warrior Queen, I would like you to bring up the first yourself. All effort to get him up here is um, full time. Even me, um, I'll be doing that. All. I'll be trying to bring him up. No qualms, we'll keep trying. Yeah, we'll keep trying. Yes, um, Paul is in there. Everything he says is correct. But um, Peter Obi was not confused. He was convinced to do what he did because he was corrupt. He isn't confused. He's well read. He knows what he was doing. Do you see this Bola Tenumbu? Bola met Tunumbu at the time, despised Nigeria, and they say Nigeria is never anybody's country. The same man is ruling Nigeria. Do you think he's con they, con they confuse him? No. He became part of the, the, the evil that is bedeviling a people. Because it is just a made geographical expression. It is nobody's country. Nobody owns this country. Nobody's interested in the so called country. The daddy of the country has made this move, bringing uh coalition center just imagine to biafra land after these years they made sure there is no embassy no presence no government presence even the small money we that that, that, that we suffer to get the small money that we suffer to get they will force us to take flights to lagos some people have tried to go to america through lagos and they died on their way coming why is there no embassy in the east why this late uh, uh, fire brigade approach and this is why we must intensify whatever we are doing because it is sending the right message why the fire brigade approach in what interest is britain doing what they are doing do they care about you so we must all know our enemies let us not think that we are gullible we are only foolish because even animals wouldn't go where they, 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 they that their fellow animal die they will run away but you human being a be a franchise for that matter Yes, we understand the subjugation. We understand how they make you poor, how they make us poor. We understand how they have used poverty to, to suppress us and we start thinking like animals. We no longer reason. A people that want to grow must first of all make reasoning preeminent. The only thing that we that we reign preeminent in our life is reason. So mic like is open. Yes, the only thing that will make us reign as human is reason. But if we cannot reason, how can? That was why the enlightenment of Mazen Nam de Kanu was so, so important, came at the right time. They did all they could to take him out. Because based on argument, you cannot win him. Based on debate, you cannot come out. Mazen Nam de Kanu called at Wali Shoinka the best among Nigerians after the, 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 the demise of, um, of um, Shuna Ashebe. Who is by the way a Biafra? The Anon Pam couldn't come out to debate. But surprise, surprise, these are the people backing uh, Buhari. People without scruples, no quality of life. No quality. They don't have quality at all. You they don't have morals. When you examine them, they, 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 they don't have the qualification to be human. Surprise, surprise, they are the, the brain side of Nigeria. Nigeria is not a country. We shouldn't be gullible. It's an act. Gullibility is an act of stupidity. You shouldn't be. Know your enemy. It's very important. The Caucasians are not your friends. I will yield my mic to 
my mouthpiece please take up the mic and Biafra warrior queen we have the first here uh, you can also call hosting yes i'll Thanks. send the calls of the first i don't know if you've seen it mouthpiece you have the mic thank you so much my brothers and sisters on the space i just have one sentence and one advice okay we are going home if any of you here still doubt that we are going home then i have nothing to say to the person we are going home don't ever think otherwise we are going home to the other land the land of the rising sun and our own prime minister the son and spiritual son the disciple and spiritual son of Martin Mandikan is taking us home. Never ever doubt it. Thank you. I yield my mic. Yes, that was an emphatic statement. And rightly so, we are going home. No Jupiter will stop us. Nothing can stop us from going home. We are going home. It is written in the skies. The time is up. And everybody is agitated. Do you know Martin Mandikan said something? That the Britain are known for often the light because when they consult their wish board their crystal ball do you think you you, you are the one that is um, going to medium you don't go to medium you go to your god but these people are mediums they are forbidden people in britain and he said when all these things will be happening they are god they have me they have crystal ball we tell them that all this thing that is happening to us is because of uh, uh, biafra that we are holding but still they will be they will be stubborn they will still be stupid enough to hold us they will be put to shame. Their firepower will, will fail. All their planes and warships will sink and refuse to take off in a single day. No remedy to that. And it will remain like that. We don't rely on their, their God to solve our problem. We are saying what we can do. Because we... Because we... are speaking it as it should be. The Britain... This their move. They, we, they, they, do you know what? We preempt them. We preempt them. They come in one way. That's why I say there is no one way to a war. There are so many ways. They are coming diplomatically, very subtle people. They surreptitiously entered our land. And you know, they will start giving you appointment to come on Monday. On Mondays will be their meeting day, trying to defy this our seat at home. But it will, it will, it will, they will, they will short live whatever they have brought to us. Brethren, the devil of this world. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do what to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.